Here's a new tool that we're developing for our Jetmetric site. It's called uh, Social PET. This is valuable for companies who kind of want to do user training and kind of have an iterative process where they um, test users against phishing and what's called social engineering. And what social engineering is, is when um, someone tries to pretend to be someone they're not in order to gain access to your systems. I'll just walk you through a typical um, workflow. So here they uh, enter in a bunch of targets, like I'll enter in myself. And a few other engineers here at Redspin. This is where the real impersonation part happens. And we have a bunch of custom templates defined here. And is what this is, is it's just an email that you were simulating what an attacker would do and kind of showing um, a scenario where you'd want to get a user to click a link or go to a website or um, do an action which would allow an attacker to get access to your system. And here, uh, this template happens to be for an offsite email using Outlook Web Access. It's saying, we've just implemented Outlook Web Access server so you can check your email from outside the office. Please test the following link and let us know if you have any trouble getting in. Your regular domain credentials will give you access. And then it has the link. Thank you, IT services. Um, and this will go to every one of our targets and hopefully, or actually not hopefully, they'll click the link and then enter then their credentials. And so we'll go ahead and run this job. And then check our email to see if we got, oh, here we go. Dear Joel Parrish, we've just implemented a new Outlook Web Access server. That's the same email we just sent out, the template. Um, and then the user would come along and say, like, oh, I've wanted this feature for years. Now I can check my office email from home. And they get a fake Outlook Web Access form that um, the only thing that they wouldn't know this was real is from the URL. But we're trying to educate users to, of course, look at these things and only use secure sites. But a user might be fooled in entering their um, credentials. So if I was a target, I'd be like, oh, offsite email access, cool. I'll go ahead and log in. And then we have their information. And um, the person who runs the report can come back and go ahead and view their user performance. Uh, go ahead and reload this test. and see the individual targets and see that, oh yeah, I clicked the link and entered in my credentials. And then here we have an executive summary with uh, a weighted grade against other, other companies. We've run the test against and gotten average values for what a typical failure rate is. And so you can run these tests and kind of educate your users as to how to check links and not be victims of phishing because this is an increasingly common um, attack method that we're seeing. And uh, hopefully you can get some sort of security policy in place where you can get um, this kind of threat out of your way. Thank you for listening.